Woo! What is up? You lovely, beautiful. Friends, how's it going guys? I'm uh, going for a ride. I've been doing quite a bit recently. It's like a 20k loop uh, around the town I live in. And I thought I'd take you along with me um, and show you a few little things I've added to the wheel, as well as a few yeah, other thoughts on the veteran Sherman. I'm, I don't know if you're about to see this, but let me, let me show you. There's a little plastic stuff I put on there to keep it safe. I'm at almost at 380 kilometers total distance and I reckon this this ride is about a 20, 20 odd k route um, which will bring us to 400 k mark so I thought we'll see how long it takes us I don't want to uh, keep you here for too long because you know we've all got stuff to do but anyway I don't know how, to, how would I I, ha I was about to sit down, some ibises over there, big flock of ibis. I was about to sit down and edit uh, a video I shot a couple of weeks ago. Things like my third ride on the, sh third big ride on the Sherman. And um, probably use a new little thing. Ooh, let me just adjust that on my nose, there we go. Yeah, I was just about to sit down and edit this video which is this same ride I'm doing right now, uh, but I filmed it in the 360. Now I like the 360 because you just hold it in one place and it looks like a drone's following you. But there's moments where the horizon isn't locked correctly and things just look a little bit distorted and tiny planet-y and just takes, yeah, look, takes a bit of time to edit and refine it. So anyway, I thought, I'll leave that one. I might edit it, to edit it and pop it out there anyway. So if you've seen this one first, and you haven't seen the other one, that's why. So, we're not filming in 360, we're just filming with Horizon Lock, which I think is flipping marvelous. I did just see the uh, new GoPro has adopted it. And I was like, oh mate, that's epic. Like, it's just a little bit smaller than the 360. And the 360 I don't like, I always feel a bit funny about putting it so close to the ground like now. Um, and also you can't change the lenses on these. If you scratch them, then you're done for, son. But you, you need to add by like an additional lens to make it out anyway. So I was like, oh, so close. But yeah, the Sherman, oh my, it's, it's amazing. I will say, uh, it's, it, it, it's, been, it's like being learning how to ride again. My feet, my feet, oh my goodness. They've just, uh, they've taken some adjusting. I feel like they've just been pounded. Um, because the, the pedals, these pedals here, they're so damn good. Some Kelpie doggy friends. Hey boys. Because <laughs> um, they're so damn good, your feet just, they just don't, don't move. They're, they're glued into the one spot. And because all the sort of riding I've been doing on the Sherman is, that I've like, started to really enjoy riding on the road on these uh on these open roads here and my feet have just been on fire on fire oh man um and like really really achy achilles and knees because <laughs> you're just in this position just like this this one position like this the whole time just going straight um so yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of a learning curve, but I think like today, I finally, I think my feet have just adjusted. So I wasn't gonna go for a ride today, but the weather's been so nice. 
and I've just finished um, everything I needed to finish on the geodesic dome I like this bit here yeah it's really nice this is like big open bit you can really cook it I've been finding that because I've, uh, I've been doing the same route so I know where most of the bumps are and when I can actually you know push the sherm a little bit more and enjoy that stable stable ride at quite a ridiculous speed really um, I've got the tilt back set to 58 kilometers and I've got the beeps set to 50 and the beeps like I'm wearing a full face helmet with or without you still I think you get more wind with a full face um, and look at 50 they you can hear them uh, I found like on my in motion you hit 35 or when well, close to 40 isn't it uh, I just can't hear it I, I end up sort of anticipating it and feeling the beeps uh, feeling the wheel before it tilts back on the emotion so that is a huge plus for the plus for the Sherman is the uh, the beeps the location of the the beeper bloody great so good and my feet are sore not like they're starting to burn up a bit I just wonder because like, I just don't move my feet as much or maybe as I'm having to like really work the wheel more than I would normally yeah it's a different style of riding for me completely different and that's you know, one of the reasons why I got it so I feel like it's just a um, like a process I'm just building and uh, improving my general in riding endurance for long distance longer rides because you know I was never doing any long rides like this I was doing more technical rides um, which I've got a video I did shoot in 360 and I'm gonna lay over some audio on top of that I find if you can get some like little swings in like this some sexy camera work <laughs> uh, yeah freeze your foot up a little bit anyway I'm banging on about my feet way too much but I've uh, upgraded to these side pads <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen these before they're quite popular the big guys um, I've got a few small minor comments it's not like issues really it's more just the way I'm positioned on the wheel uh, it'd be nice if I could move these a little bit further this way um, but if I can't do that because in the back here they'll actually come off uh, come too far off the back so I'm kind of stuck with uh oh god no idea what was going on then stuck with this position so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some foam I just put a little bit here like a little sliver so I can get a full contact and it's a little bit softer and then underneath here I'm going to double it up just enough so I can catch my toes if I hit a bump um, but not so much I can't close the pedals so yeah, the, I actually took took one of them off last night and popped the the Sherman ones on, which actually, you know, the Sherman ones are really good. I actually quite like the Sherman one. Um, and I thought, oh, I might just go back to them. And I put it on and then quickly realized, shit, let's put the other one back on before the adhesive, the sticky 3M stuff uh, stops working. I tell you what, it, I left it on overnight, actually. Um, got the sun on it and it stuck it's solid that it was so hard to get off so yeah, I highly recommend those um, you could make your own I've seen people make them out of a yoga block um, you know they do have a good price to them but there you go here's a plug use my non-stop Neil coupon code voucher over at eRiders to get your money off um, Steve will sort you out over there for your power pads I reckon these will go good on most wheels certainly other wheels where you can position them more sort of a little bit restricted almost to this one but yeah man they're good really good and the other thing that I, I got was this little flippy mirror thing just goes on it's, it's really big um, 
you can go on top of a really thick pair of gloves and still have lots of room um, and I've been finding it really I would never have bought this uh, for my other wheels my other type of riding but because um, we're riding the Sherman and I'm on these little roads these like I'm riding these country roads and they're so quiet man it's so good so this just lift it up Whoop, little peak um, I can turn to my side I think that's a good skill to also have but it is nice to just have a quick little look on the mirror there and you can still keep looking forward I do like those ones that come out here the little mirror that's probably might even be better but anyway for now we got this um, ow fucking went in my eyeballs forgot my sunnies um, but I'm looking at some of those brown brown glasses apparently they're really good look at all these uh, um, galas <laughs> we're flipping we're flying we're moving at the same speed we're doing 40 yeah boys so I'm just going down into this little uh, valley it's really pretty it's always windy around here as well Yeah, generally people tend to drive quite slow around here too on these country roads. They're not. Um, it's not. Uh, I'm not sure what the limit is. Probably 100k, but people do tend not to fly around these. We've been on this trip before on my V10. Um, and it's quite nice. Just a quite. It's a, just a nice. Um, 20k route around and it, you know what it feel <laughs> what this this doesn't feel it, it's so different it's so different to the other EUCs I've had like um, you know like my V11 doing those the European tour and that I mean that was amazing it was sufficient enough and at the time it was great totally fine it was super easy so light I jump on it now and again I can't believe how small it is um Oh, we got a car. I might get off this. Get out of the way. Yeah, I can't believe how um, how small it is compared to like the V10. I'm, I remember when I got the V10, I was like, wow. The V10 is massive. And then we pull up with this guy. Um, it's in a league of, it, a, a league of its own. Um, and yeah, look, quickly. I've popped these on. Probably seen a lot of people Shermans with these. Uh, these were like $15 off eBay and it just allows me to if I turn it off I can just sit it on something like that pretty good um, I've got the seat on I'm trying to like get better at riding seat riding but um, I feel like this seat you like because it's only you probably see only like slots on the back there quite loosely when i when i sit on it it like can jiggle about a bit and it feels a bit yeah i'm just disconnected from it especially if you're sitting down at some speed and i found i get a bit wobbly um but i'm using it for now the guys over in the uk like that one that they clipped on the top um so I might take that idea and make one from home. Uh, I'd like to buy one and support the guys, but I've just spent so much money on my wheel. Uh, I think for now I might just make a quick one for the Tassie trip. Um, and then, yeah, look into purchasing one off those guys. But yeah, look, it's bloody awesome around here. So nice, it's like eight o'clock. But yeah, the uh, the Sherman is heavy. It's really he it's, it's, it's heavy, and uh, we went off uh, on some mountain bike trails that we'd normally go on. Me and my friend James, and um, he'd be on the V8, and I'd be on the V10. But now with Sweet he's on the V10, and he's getting a feel for uh, proper EUC riding, and he's loving it. And I'm on the Sherman, and yeah, it's it's like sluggish. 
it's like it the v10's way better on those trails way better on those trails way more agile a lot lighter it's got good torque um, i mean the pedal height is pretty much the same yeah so it makes me like think it's made me really appreciate you see down there so nice i really appreciate the v10f or that size wheel and I think I'm going to continue using that for like trails, the mountain bike trails that go on, more technical stuff, more slower technical stuff, and use this for big open road things like this because it's just like, oh mate, I absolutely love it. So we get a bit, we've got a bit of a crosswind here. Yeah, see there, like sitting on the seat, then it just slides around a bit, makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. I do like this handlebar though. Especially because I can just lean into it. I don't have to, and then I can sit up more upright. Um, it definitely is a win-win for taking a bit of weight off the old feet there. <laughs> but I reckon the, that taller seat would be a lot nicer. Um, it has popped off a few times. That was only because I was going over some pretty big bumps. But now, man, the seat's good. So yeah, and also, so I was looking for a second-hand wheel for my friend, and I found I found two, both uh, Gotway MSX wheels. You know, really good price. And my mate, he's you know tossing the tossing and turning about what to get. It's, it's so it's a big commitment, isn't it? It's a lot of money to spend on something that you're not sure about. So. He's sitting on it for a little bit. He'll continue using my other wheel, which is great. It's just nice to have a riding buddy. And uh, it really got me thinking, like, I mean, the, the MSX 84 volt is, it's the same size motor as the V10. Keep an eye on that seat, because it might fly off. Same size motor, just a bigger battery. And it's actually, you know, with a bigger wheel. A bigger wheel which makes it a little bit less agile. That's why the V10, it feels like an 18 inch wheel, but it's not, it's a 16 by 2.5. Lighter, yeah, it doesn't have the distance, but it's got the same motor. And the acceleration seems the same. But um, I recently changed the pedals on it because one of the pedals broke. Um, I've been doing like jumps on the off-road trails on it and just the pedals just got hammered, so I'm not sure how lo how much longer the V10 would last because you know the the fan inside it is at, is buzzing, it's buzzing the whole time I'm riding those trails, and I just don't want to break it. Um, I've only done I've done like a thousand kilometers on it, and uh, you know I could just sell it and get this MSX 84 volt and use that as my off-road trail wheel. Just seems a bit more robust, doesn't it? The Gotway 84 volt. And it's just a bit of a legend of a wheel, isn't it? And look, the V10 is good too, so uh, I'm a, not, not really a predicament, but certainly something I'm considering. It's a nice spot, isn't it? This is a, I've got a mobile sauna. That I built, and I was thinking about pulling pulling it down here, have a sauna, especially in the winter, go for the icy cold dip. It's quite a um, a quiet spot round here. It's quite nice, so it is. How long have we been waffling on for? Ooh, almost 20 minutes. So yeah, what what do you guys think about that? I could uh. I could pop a new, because I've got some spare parts on that V10 from the one that I initially got off in motion. That turned out to be a bit of a lemon. And Steve at E-Riders hooked me up, helped me get into the country from Bangkok. Um, and then helped me with changing the motor over twice and then the motherboard. And Oh man, if I hadn't had that contact, I, just, I would have just been left with this free, awesome wheel that just turned into a dead weight basically I just couldn't fix it um, but anyway 
I really like it. My partner, she's like starting to learn to ride, so maybe I keep it for her. But then I've got like four wheels. That's a lot of wheels. So many wheels for Neil. But I think the best combo is, you know, off-road wheel, long distance Sherman, sitting at a good comfortable speed. Like this thing, it's, in a way, it's not, I wouldn't say scare, not scary, but it certainly f pulls you in, pulls you in to a bit of false sense of safety. Um, because it can sit at 50, I've pushed it to 60, like squeezing my bum, holding on tight, and it was just uh, no no wobbles. When we brake, there's just no wobbles, and I feel so safe on it. And I do wonder if you're a beginner out there, and as I'd just say like if you bought it buy it but still stick to your other wheel like your V10 or your 16X or whatever your Tesla or those wheels that require you to put more inputs into your wheel because this is so it's so easy to ride like so easy it's crazy how easy it is um I go in, going forward anyway, like when you start having to turn it and to really like push, put all the weight in one leg, like if you go up here, go up this hill, this way here, and then really, it's kind of like a motorbike, leaning into the motorbike to pull the weight around, because it's, it's heavy, man, it's a chunk of a wheel. So you have to stay away from it, because um, it, it'll really pull you into those faster speeds. And if you're not geared up correctly, like I've got all my pads on, I'd probably like to change my wrist guards to something a bit more, a bit stronger. So I might grab some of those off Steve. But yeah, man, it's so tempting. But at the same time, I just spent a ton of money on this wheel. I keep on looking behind me. I forget they got this mirror. Yeah, it's so tempting to get that gotway. And then maybe, maybe I can sell it to my mate when he decides he wants to play on his own wheel. <laughs> Woohoo! So much fun, man. Well, I'm sitting at 45 here, and it just feels. It's solid, mate, honestly. I got nothing nothing bad to say about this wheel. You know, you hear it a lot, people are just saying, it's heavy, it's heavy. Of course it's heavy. It's a bloody Sherman. <laughs> um, batteries are heavy. So other than its weight and the trickiness it has about getting on and off, in and out your car and that sort of stuff, it's solid, honestly, absolutely solid. I hardly charge it. It's just an incredible wheel that I foresee, as long as you don't have any big accidents on it or big crashes, should last me a very long time. Um, yeah, and I think, actually, the weight, I feel like the weight, sometimes the weight of things really... <clears throat> I don't ride motorbikes, so I don't know, but I wonder if... A motorbike that has a bit of weight to it just allows you to uh, just feel it more like it it feels so grounded and I probably that's probably why it feels so balanced like they're balancing with the batteries and everything else but because of the weight it feels grounded and you feel connected and it's a flipping good wheel super happy with this purchase all right we are coming back into tune now and that was okay we're only done like 13 kilometers mustn't be it must be 20 it's a few it's a bit longer but I don't want to keep you guys for too long so uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video oh this this bit this bit of a listen to the tire I think oh you probably can't hear it because you're on the mic 
but ah, oh, it's such a new road this. So that's 50, I can hear the beeps at 50. It's just, oh mate. Like I only push it on these little bits of road here. And I'm honestly, I'm not even like, I was hardly holding on. My feet are tingling, but they're not as sore as they have been. Um, not as sore as I have been. I'll show you. Let me just see if I can prop you up here as a post here. Like I've been practicing, <laughs> trying to make this feel like it's a heavy wheel, right? It's a chunk of a wheel. But I've been doing the same sort of moves as they do on the V10. Uh, you can still do, you know, this sort of stuff. Feels fine. That grip tape is just insane. Oh, I'm a bit dizzy. This is one little move I like to do. You come in like this, balance. Oh geez, I'm on a bit of a slope, not that. Let me restart that. <laughs> yeah, I've got pressure. So I usually, I come in like this, stop, go back, off to this side, oh, see the weight there, go back that way, I'm supposed to be able to do this a bit more, the weight of the Sherman, so here we go, we go in ah crap anyway you get the idea yeah so i've been trying to do this sort of stuff because of that because of the weight let me try this again there we go there there ah turning too far that way there, there. come on here we go Yeah, this, I find this is really good. And then you try and do it the opposite way. Ah, oh, almost. We almost did it. But yeah, man. It's a beast that needs taming, that is for sure. All right. Thank you guys for, uh, boop, look at the screen. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, I'll see you in the comments. It's nice to uh, see what you guys are up to. Are you enjoying your new wheels? Alrighty. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. See you. Oh, yeah. Um, next one might be in Tassie. We're going to Tassie. We're allowed to go to Tasmania. It's opening up finally. We're over there for a couple of weeks. And I'm taking the Sherm. The Sherman 8 is coming along for the ride. Oh, it's going to be glorious. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Woohoo!